Prince Charles thought Sarah Ferguson and Princess Diana were hatching a plan to install the Duke of York as Prince Regent before Prince William could take the throne on his 18th birthday in the event of Queen Elizabeth II's death, a biography claims. Prince Charles will become king immediately after the death of his mother, Queen Elizabeth II. However in an explosive biography on the Prince of Wales, it is claimed that Charles was convinced that members of the royal family were in a secret plot to replace him as heir. In Rebel Prince, The Power, Passion and Defiance of Prince Charles, author Tom Bauer wrote, Now, mindful of Diana's prediction on Panorama that he would never be king, Charles convinced himself that Diana and Sarah Ferguson were hatching plans to replace him as heir. In the 2018 biography, Mr. Bauer claimed that Charles feared an announcement would be made on the Queen's death, or abdication, and, Andrew would be regent until William was 18, when he would take over. Not so long ago, Prince Andrew was a figure crucial to the future of the House of Windsor, as second in line to the throne behind his brother Prince Charles. Even as recently as his 40th birthday it was conceivable that Prince Andrew could have become regent in the unlikely event of the combined deaths of the Queen and Prince Charles. In that event, Prince William would have been crowned king when he reached his 18th birthday. Now, at the age of 56, Andrew can only drift further to the margins to join largely forgotten figures like the Duke of Gloucester, who was fourth in line in the 1970s but is now 24th. In 2019 it was revealed that nearly half of all Britons would like to see Prince Charles pass the crown directly to Prince William upon the Queen's death, according to a new poll. The survey, carried out by BMG Research for the Independent, found that 46% of those questioned would approve if the Prince of Wales, who recently celebrated his 70th birthday, removed himself from the line of succession in favor of his son. Overall. Just 13% said they would strongly oppose such a move, the Independent reports, while 11% said they would somewhat oppose. However, the Daily Mail reported in October in 2018 that royal biographer Robert Jobson exposed a secret plan to make Charles Prince regent in three years' time. Mr. Jobson writes, some close to the monarch say that, if she reaches the age of 95, she will make a monumental decision and choose to officially allow Charles to take over the stewardship of her reign. She will, they say, officially transfer all executive powers to him as Prince Regent until her death, when he will become king. In truth, with the Queen now well into her tenth decade, senior officials within the royal household confirm that Prince Charles is effectively already our Prince Regent, a king in all but name. The last time the Regency Act was invoked was in 1810 during the reign of George III, when the monarch became permanently deranged. It meant his eldest son assumed the title Prince Regent for ten years until, on his father's death, he became George IV. 